Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some canceled Ninjaga plots that were originally in production at one point in time, but were canceled for one reason or another. A lot of these plots could very much have been the full plots of finalized seasons, and in today's video, we are going to be exploring those canceled Ninjaga plots, talking about how they would have worked as a full-on season, or if they would have even worked in general, and why they may have been canceled. Some of these plot points, we do have reasons as to why they were canceled, as cited by a people that actually work on the Ninjago TV series, but for other concepts we just have a simple idea that was worked on for a little bit at one point in time, but ultimately cancelled for, again, unknown reasons. I think this can make for a very interesting video, just keep in mind that this is not trying to be a news video or anything like that. These concepts could very well be used in the future, but as of right now these are just concepts or ideas that were left in the past for one reason or another. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and dive on into it with our very first Ninjago concept that could have made for a fully fledged Ninjago. Jago season. The first one that we're going to be talking about in today's video is probably one of the more famous examples out there of a cancelled Ninjago storyline, this one involving a female-led spin-off series featuring Skylar, Nia, Pixel, and a new character. According to the Ninjago wiki, this season was going to be taking place at some point after Skybound, and the plan was to make it essentially Ninjago's version of Charlie's Angels, a task force or some type of squad that was going to be made up of entirely female characters. But like Charlie's Angels, their boss would have been a male character, and in this case, their boss would have been Ronin. So the team would have been Skylar, Nia, Pixel, with Ronin acting as their boss for some unknown reason. If Ninjago would have actually utilized this plot, Ronin would most definitely be assigning them missions for some reason. Not really sure what the context would be surrounding that, but still, a female-led spin-off focusing on Skylar, Nia, and Pixel would have been awesome to see. There are reports as well of a new character being added to this lineup, so it would have been Skylar, Nia, Pixel, and a new character altogether. Another female character, but a new character nonetheless. There are other rumors as well that at some point in time Ronan was going to be revealed to have had a daughter, and maybe Ronan's daughter would have taken up the fourth place on this exclusively female task force, though I'm not really sure if that's the case for sure. All that we know for sure is that there was going to be a new character added to this roster alongside classic Ninjago characters like Skylar, Pixel, and Nia. I think this would have made for an awesome plot point, and I'm very disappointed that this did not end up happening, because I think the potential here is pretty much unlimited, and I would have loved to have seen the chemistry between Skylar, Nia and Pixel especially. Ronin being the boss, I'm a little iffy on. Maybe Cyrus Borg could have been the boss instead. I feel like Cyrus Borg leading the team perhaps would have made a little bit more sense, but Ronin, I guess that would make sense as well. I just don't like Ronin, so I would have loved to have seen somebody different. But in terms of a female-led Ninjago spinoff, absolutely. I'm very much on board with that idea. Here's hoping that it happens at some point in the future of Ninjago. Speaking of Skylar, a storyline focusing on Skylar would have been introduced at some point as well, though we're not sure if this was going to be a full-on season, or a special, or maybe just a series of comic books. Either way, a storyline called Amber Legacy would have been created and would have introduced Skylar's mother and all of her backstory, explaining where she was during the war, why Chen and her actually settled down, and again, according to the Ninjago wiki, what exactly Skylar's mother's fate would have been. Amber Legacy was a story that was ultimately cancelled, like I said, just like all of these concepts that we're going to be talking about, but we did end up getting a storyline called Amber Spiral, which made its debut on LEGO's official website as a series of short chapters chapters talking about Skylar and her backstory. You can tell that Amber Spiral took a lot of inspiration from this cancelled Amber Legacy storyline, which I think is beneficial. I think Skylar in general is a character that needs more explanation, especially with her family history and their past as well, and thankfully Amber Spiral was able to give us some of that backstory that was very much needed for Skylar's character. However, this original Amber Legacy storyline sounds like it would have been venturing into those plot points a little bit deeper, which is ultimately a disappointment in my opinion. Would have loved to have seen this actually play out, and if this could have been like a fully fledged special or maybe even a series of shorts that would have been awesome to see but like i said it's unclear what this storyline would have been and what medium it would have taken the next one that we're going to be taking a look at is a series of canceled ninjago christmas shorts that apparently were going to be made back in 2012. we don't have a lot of information about the series of shorts or this short season if you will but tommy andreason the creator of ninjago has been on record saying that he wrote five christmas shorts that went unproduced due to a lack of budget which is pretty unfortunate in my opinion Ninjago Ninjago seasons do act on a budget, and obviously they were not able to go over that budget, so these Christmas shorts ended up being unproduced, but they are written. Not sure if those scripts will ever see the light of day, but I highly doubt that they will. As cool as it would have been for Ninjago to have some type of Christmas special or some type of Christmas themed series of shorts, Tommy Andreessen has also said that Ninjago and Christmas don't really mix, though Christmas has been mentioned before in the Ninjago universe. But that opens up an entirely new can of worms that I won't spend too much time talking about in today's video, but just know that Christmas 
Christmas in Ninjago is too complex of an idea to introduce to the series, according to Tommy Andreessen and other people that work on the Ninjago show. I also find it interesting that these Christmas shorts were going to be released in 2012. Seems a little bit too early to do a Christmas special, but hey, what do I know? I'm sure a lot of people would have loved to have seen a Christmas series of shorts for Ninjago, but we probably will never see these actually happen due to a lack of budget. Speaking of things that were cancelled due to a lack of a budget, and I might end up making a video on this in the future, its own dedicated video at some point, but during the 2021 10th anniversary of Ninjago, Tommy Andreessen proposed that the pilot episodes could be remade as a movie, as some type of celebration of Ninjago lasting 10 years. We don't know a whole lot about this cancelled idea except for the fact that it would have been a remake of the actual pilot shorts and that it was cancelled due to a lack of a budget, but I wonder how they would have pulled that off. What did Tommy Andreessen mean by remaking the pilots as a movie? Would they simply reanimate the pilots with the modern Ninjago art style and the modern character designs? And if they were to have remade the pilots as some type of adaptation, I'm not sure what else they would have changed. Would they have changed the story? Instead of Nia being kidnapped and that's the reason why Kai starts his ninja training, maybe they could have done something else entirely? Honestly, not too sure about this, but a remake of the pilot sounds like it would have made for a very interesting Ninjago season, or in this case, a Ninjago movie, but I'm not sure if that was entirely necessary. The original pilot episodes still stand out to this day, and they still hold up to this day as well. Ninjago fans can watch those pilots and still feel a sense of nostalgia, while also connecting it to the modern day Ninjago series, so was it entirely necessary to remake the pilots in the first place? Honestly, I'm not too sure, but the pilot remakes being unnecessary was not a reason cited as to why the remake was cancelled. Instead, it was simply cancelled due to a lack of budget, which I find to be rather strange, but honestly, at the end of the day, maybe that could have been awesome, I honestly do not know, as we never saw this remake actually play out, though I am curious as to what this remake would have been if it were to have been finalized and actually produced. Alongside cancelled Ninjago seasons, we also just have a lot of other concepts that were scrapped as well for seasons that do exist, and maybe I could do an entire video dedicated to that stuff in the future, but as of right now, these are just some ideas that Ninjago was going to utilize one day, either for seasons or something else entirely, as is the case with the pilot remakes. But still, I find these concepts to be very interesting overall, especially the female-led spin-off series featuring Skylar, Pixel, Nia, and Ronin as their boss for some reason. But still, the other ones sound awesome as well, and you guys now know my thoughts on these cancelled Ninjago concepts that could have made for full-on seasons. I appreciate you guys watching this one, and feel free to leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments regarding what you think about these cancelled Ninjago projects, which ones sound the most interesting to you, and would you like to see Ninjago do any of these concepts at some point again in the future? Leave all your thoughts down below, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and with that being said guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching everybody, if you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace.